Hey everybody, Dan from On One here. I'm excited to tell you about some improvements to No Noise AI. So most of you know, No Noise AI is the standard when it comes to denoising your photos. Now No Noise can work on both raw photos and non-raw photos, and it handles the two differently. Raw photos are actually processed at the deep raw level. It's all the way down to when the photo is debared or demosaic, where No Noise works on a raw photo, but we also have to work on regular non-raw photos like JPEGs, or anytime you use it as a plugin to Photoshop, you're going to be going through that non-raw pathway. And that's when we've been working on getting even better results than what we had before. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a JPEG photo. I'm going to zoom in really close so you guys can take a little closer look at this. This is at 200%. There we go. You can see, still a pretty noisy photo. I'm going to turn on No Noise AI so you can kind of see a before and an after. Now these are the results from the current non-raw AI model. And I'm going to turn the preview on and off so you can see the difference. There's before with the noise, and there's after with no noise added. That's still pretty good, but we really think we can do even better. So let me show you the new high detail model designed just for that non-ROP pathway. Over here in the no noise pane, I'm going to switch the method from original to high detail and watch the difference. Wow, that's a pretty big difference. You can see how there's much more detail, much more crisp detail. You can even see the the patterns in the iris and the eagle's eye now that were almost kind of smudged out before. To make it easier for you guys to see the difference, I'm just going to make a copy of the layer and we'll use both models of no noise on each. So I'm just going to apply this one, the new high detail model to this layer. I'll rename it high detail. Let's make a copy of that layer. And now on this one, I'll just go back and I'll switch it to the original model. and I'll call it original. If you didn't know that you can use no noise on layers, well, now you do. And you can use the same blending and masking tools that you're used to using, so you can selectively apply noise reduction as if you want to as well. So there's your little quick tip for the day. All right, I'm gonna zoom back up to 200%. Let's take a look. There's the original. Let me turn that off. There's the new high detail model. Again, original results and that new high detail model. It's pretty crazy what it can do. It gives you much more detail. Now you can use that high detail model on raw photos as well, and it's kind of up to you what you like. It's a personal taste. It's going to leave a little bit more residual noise than what the original model does, but it might look a little bit more natural to you as well. All right, there you go. Some cool improvements in No Noise AI. Thanks for watching.